I uh, I go through it. I let the. I'm, I'm presuming you know what it fucking is. You kill the masters. You let the last dude kill you because then it's got a faster reloading screen, pretty much in instant. You just keep doing that, and then what I do when I've got maxed inventory, I use that shake thing on the last one because then I'm getting the full effect of it, not just using it because I'm only killing so many and then I'm dying. It just seems like a waste to me. So I, what I do, I do it on when I'm on the last one. I use it because then I get the full effect of it. Because I would rather, yeah, I could easily do the Grand Tour one, but I'd rather do the Master one because I've been doing the Master one for quite a lot, quite a while actually. It's what I did to get to 400. Well, it's what I did to pass time for when I didn't have internet for a month. That's what I did. I did that. And I got like, I think I got like 18 billion. Um, that was just on way of the demon. For when 400 was the thing. Because now obviously I'm getting more I'm Ritter. Because I'm pretty sure I put it on before but I must have changed it back. Because I used to run with it so it drops more potions for me. Obviously which makes sense. Really. But yeah. It would be nice if they do bring another DLC out for the game, but I personally think if they're thinking about doing it, then I reckon they should bring out number two. Really. Not do a fucking destiny. Oh, we've made a new game, but it's just pretty much the same as the first one, but it's just got a different shit at the beginning. Same classes, but it's just got different animations. Oh, well, it, it is thingy though, isn't it? It is Activision. They like to do that every year. Saying it's a different game, but it's, it's clearly not. It's the same game, but it's just got different animations. Talk about Call of Duty, by the way. Stop doing that attack because you know I can't do fuck all about it because it's just an instant attack. Thank you. So I will make a Thomas the Tank Engine Guardian Spirit. Oh yeah, because I forgot they've they've recently just brought this to PC, aren't they? They're bringing it to PC. Bring this to Xbox, please. So then it can go towards my my list on my games. My hundred percent on my Xbox, please. Or better yet. Make so Windows 10 thing. Just download it from fucking PC and then just play it on there and then it goes towards my list. Don't mind doing all this again. Of course I fucking won. I've done it all now, so. Don't mind doing it all again. These are great little fuckers. It's gonna be kind of cool though to see what type of shit they're gonna come out with us on this with mods. You can obviously tell someone's gonna make a Deadpool mod. Get armor that looks like Deadpool because obviously the, the two blades and then like 
if they can do it, like make make their own abilities and shit. Give him the guns, mod the guns in. Cause obviously there's them there's them dudes who shoot guns at you. Oh, better, yeah, just mod it in so you can play as fucking Dante. There you go. I want, I want mine running around as Dante. Make my sword look like the Rebellion, and then get every and ivory. And then change the thingy sticks, the newest, well, the second DLC's Tumfus or whatever they're called. Change them into his gloves, his flame gloves. So that's the main reason why people want games to come to the PC. It's just that. It's just that. So they can mod it. But some games modding, it makes it a lot fucking better. Just look at Call of Duty. The zombies. Our console need to wait like months just for a new map and then PC to get fucking new every day. People modding it. Change this suit as well. Change it to white, which I personally think they should have done. For Ryo Hayabusa, well, Jin Hayabusa, sorry. They should have changed it. They should have made it so his suit was white, because then it's Shinobi. From, from the Sega. Well, Sega's. Well, Sega, sorry. Shinobi 1, 2, and 3. Way better. Would look way, this suit would have looked way better if it was just all white. You look like the White Ranger. And you look like Shinobi. From Shinobi. Which I do think Ryo Hayabusa is Shinobi. That's when they made him for, for the Sega. And then they changed it to Ninja Gaiden. Thing. I don't know though, but he's the only ninja I respect. He's fucking Shinobi. I don't even know if that's his real name. But... Cause me and him have been through. Some... We've been some through some shit. Bitches, pussies. What kind of is that? I need yeah I do. Doing 
you trick again, auto recovery because I ate you on top of something. I wouldn't even be surprised as well if the if Swan mods in so you can get Thomas the Tank Engine as a fucking spirit. I won't be surprised if they make it so they mod in the fucking Snoop Dogg song. Since everyone seems to like play that song when they see Thomas the, the Thomas the Tank Engine, since it goes well or whatever it is. Hey, welcome back, Steven. Hey, because there's even that thing you, as well. What's what's its name? <sighs> I forgot the, the name. The, the, it's the god of the god of god of the sun. I think it's the that wolf. Amateur ass. Is that a name? It's a girl, isn't it? Amateur ass. I think that's the name. Because the, the wolf that I'm using at the minute does kind of look like a. So I won't be surprised if they mod it in so he, it looks like her. Oh, mate, they could even. Someone could mod in the. Uh... Oh, Shaman Kings, mate. Shaman Kings, I can't remember what cartoon that. Oh, I can't remember what it was on. Like, but I think it was Nickelodeon, I think. Shaman King. Where they had spirits and their swords and shit. It, it, on their unique weapons. And they had the uh, spirits inside. Kind of like this. They activated it when they were in trouble to do more damage and shit. Because the girl had the. Uh, she technically had Bruce Lee. Because she had the nunchuck. And then the main dude had that samurai. That kind of looks like William, really. He does generally look like William. He's got white hair, he's got ponytail, and he's got the armor that looks like fucking William. Won't be surprised if it was him. The real dude is of William. It would be kind of cool to see that. I guess that fire is cool the way it is, but it's not for me. I love it, absolutely love it. It's like I said, I'll play on it soon. I think I'll play on it when uh I think I'll play on it when I've had, I've had some food. Because as soon as I've pretty much done this... Uh, I will be pretty much be playing that really. Metal Gear. Obviously, I still need to do. Still need to do stupid Call of Duty, COD 4, get exclusive zone camo shit. Plus, thing is coming out in seven days. Shadow Mordor. Then three days after, it's Evil Within 2. Oh, yeah, nah, 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 can't wait. And then pretty much after that, it's Call of Duty. Well, zombies. And then. It's Star Wars. I installed that shit. Never played that again. I wish I kept Battlefield 1 instead of getting COD. 
Told you, mate, because I gave him a moment when we were talking about it. You, when you play, if you've been playing COD for so long, but you you play Battlefield as well, you can just tell as soon as you put Battlefield in, like. It's just so supreme to Call of Duty games. Even Battlefield 4. Battlefield 4. It's it's just totally. It's just. It's, it's just a better game all to fucking gather, mate. All together. Battlefield, you can use any gun you want. You can pretty much do anything you want. Oh, there's a person behind this wall. Hold on one second. Let me just blow it up. Call of Duty, oh there's someone in this building, oh we've got to go around because it's camping inside because we can't destroy the building because we can't even shoot the fucking door, we can't even open the door. And then there's Battlefield, you can fucking blow them to bits, fucking open them, do fucking do everything. I'm at brain fighting. I thought this, that bit, it leads you onto there. Am I brain fighting? Or is it this way? I'm brain fighting. Battlefield 3 and Bad Company 2 are the best for me. Yeah. Battle, Battle, Battlefield Bad Company 1 will always be like the one in my heart because it was like the first game that I, sh well it was the first shooter and plus the first Battlefield game that I played. And I will always remember the, the first bit of the game when you win your squad and then there's that Irish dude. I think he's Irish. And then you come up against that wall and he's like, oh, you don't know what to do. And he goes, I get out of the way and he pulls his new tube out and he just blows it up. He just blows the wall off. And I'm like, mate, this fucking game's awesome. I fucking loved it when he did that. And I can remember when I used to play online, I destroyed fucking everything. Just running around, destroying shit. It's like, it's even one of the fucking shooters. When you get killed by a noob tube, you don't fucking complain because it's like, you blow up and it next minute, everything around you is just fucking destroyed. And it just looks sick. Play Battlefield Battle Company 1, but didn't finish it. Yeah, it had a pretty cool, uh, well... It was mainly a funny story, really. Plus the character was as well. It had a really good story. It had a pretty decent story plot to it. Plus it was funny at the same time. But if anyone, without a die, if anyone wants to play a battlefield, they want to play a battlefield game, but it's more like, you can kind of say, fast paced. Less sluggish, well, heaviness from when you're running about. Obviously, you need to play Battlefield Hardline. Guaranteed. It's basically just a fast paced Battlefield and it fits it. Just the way it is. Plus, you're playing as cops and robbers and shit. So, if you're a stoner, then you sort of that one. I remember the beginning where you had to dis destroy missiles. Yeah, I think that's one of the missions, but I don't think it's the first one. One of them, you have to go and destroy these missiles. Battlefield Hardline was weird, wasn't bad. Really? To me, Battlefield Hardline... It was, it's just the way the game is. It's a, it's basically just a fast paced version of Battlefield. That's all it is. It's just a fast pace. And making it cops and robbers, it fit it. Because it kind of makes sense of why they didn't make it so like you can destroy everything. It makes sense because it's just the way the game is. But yeah, Battlefield Hardline. It's got a good story. In, the, obviously, the gameplay on the multiplayer is fantastic. Plus, you can have a laugh and shit on it. Yeah, 
And then like I'll make this fireball around me. Oh. It, that's when they kinda they kinda brought the whole melee thing into the game as well. And when they brought all them silly looking melee weapons. And obviously you see me running around with the gold. I could go play a fucking baseball bat. Make this game look easy. Of course, mate. Of course. Make every game look easy. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. That's why I stood behind that wall, mate. Because I knew for a fact you're gonna you you, you were gonna swing at me. That's the reason why I stood behind that fucking wall. I hate these. The way that these fight are disgusting. Because shit like that, that that just didn't make any sense. Like each swung, it hit there, but it hit me. It makes no sense. It it pretty much does all three still skill attacks. That's why it takes so long to recover, so then it gives you time to attack it. But one good stupid little swing like that. Me, I didn't even go to shrine. I fucking went all the way back there again. This is where I get confused. I'm fine. 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 Go. See you later, boys. I do. I absolutely hate them. It's just the way they fight. They just do this. They just do the skill moves with the sickle. So the, the only thing they do. It's stupid. Skill attack after skill attack. Like what well, pretty much every fucker else does. They use it because it's overpowering. Since I know what it is, I'm not going to be more. I'm going to be less aggressive towards it. Look how fucking fast he is! I'm all blocking that, and he's still fucking hit me. Horrible. They're disgusting. Such an horrible enemy. Why is he so fast? It's a big thing. It's so fast. They run around with a sword. They run around with a sword, which is guaranteed to be lighter. But yet, when they've got the sickle, they're fucking Usain Bolt. They're just constantly fucking speeding everywhere. I'm gonna fucking have him this time. I'm not gonna get fucking lucky. I've got a thickle, it makes me times as fast. Shut up. Plus the fucking reach of it. Disgusting. Again, the reach is insane. One good swing, yet again, and you're dead. At least you can just fucking pick him up, mate. Pick these up. Just run up to him. Grab his leg. Start spinning him. 
do some Mario shit, like what you do with Bowser. And then pick him up and then power bomb him through his table. Now that's a game. You can do shit like that on it. That's a fucking game. Big bitches like him, you can just make him look like a fucking turtle. Just run up to him, pick him up and then just slam him about. Like he's nothing. Kinda like what they can do to you. Pick you up like a rag doll. There's no effort and you're just fucking everywhere, you're just slinging everywhere. They can do it, I can do it. Do it, Lu Boo. Off Dynasty Warriors. Do double swing and he runs up to the cunt, grabs him by the face, and then just slams him into the floor. And it's like, yeah, fuck you, bitch. Do it. I, I didn't even know you could. Did I parry his kick? There they are. That, that's another stupid buff that they nerf that they've done. And again, the first swing, if anything, when you come up against the boss, the first swing doesn't hurt them. Which is stupid. Oh, oh. Got lucky with that one. I need him, he's gonna do his, I don't, I don't like it when he's in that. Stay, because he can do that swing, the charge attack, and it fucking reaches fucking decades away. Get slapped. Should have seen it when I first ever versed him on Where Samurai. When I first came up against him, I fucking destroyed him. I bum li I literally, I bummed him in a corner. Next that where that that stupid snake's mouth is, right in that corner, he was fucked. I gar I f guaranteed fucked him. And he, he 